This is Paul Becker from TrulyHuge.com. Today I'm going to talk about negative reps. What exactly are negative reps? That's when you only do the negative or the lowering part of the exercise. For example, let's say you were doing a bench press and you had either a training partner or preferably two training partners lift the bar to arm's length and you slowly lower it um, back down to your chest and then your training partners lift it back up and you slowly lower it down. Now the benefits to this is you can use a lot more weight than you can if you were doing the positive part and the negative part. And Arthur Jones, the inventor of Nautilus, believed that this was that the lowering part was the more productive part of the exercise and built more strength and mass than the positive or or the um, raising of the weight. Now you can do almost any exercise like this, but usually you need you need somebody to lift the weight. Let's say you're doing curls, you need somebody to lift the weight up to the top position and then you lower it slow. You can do it with squats as long as you have two training partners, bench press, press overhead. Any exercise can be done. Now what are you going to do if you don't have a training partner? Well, there's a lot of, there's a lot of ways to do negative training even without a training partner. Some of the best are negative chin-ups. What you do is you <clears throat> put a step ladder under your chin bar and you climb up to the top and then lower yourself down slowly, then climb back up and lower yourself down slowly. Now you're probably going to need to add extra weight than your body weight to make it harder as you get stronger. So you would do that by using a belt with a chain that connects to weight plates. You can also do the same thing with dips. You um, put the step ladder under the dip bar, climb to the top position where your arms are straight, and then lower yourself down slowly, etc., etc. You can also do your legs on a um, leg press machine by <clears throat> pushing the weight up with both legs and then just lowering it down with one. Of course, adjust the weight. You may not be able to lower as much as you could normally push up with two legs. So you got to break yourself in and get used to it before you really start putting a, a lot of weight on. Okay, that's it for now. Be sure to subscribe to this video channel and click on the link below for information on the Truly Huge program, which negative reps is only one of the, one of the techniques suggested in the Truly Huge program. Also make sure you visit trulyhuge.com and sign up for our free weekly fitness tips newsletter.